there, it's that time of year again, when we honor our mothers by dressing up like them, or wearing their clothes. It's up to you, and it's totally normal. And because it's Mother's Day season, we thought we'd walk you through building a mom-tastic personality quiz. That's right, we're gonna help you figure out what kind of mom you are. You can take these principles and apply them anywhere. Build custom relationships, convert leads, or use them to collect customer info. Let's get cooking. First off, we're gonna build a for fun flow for our favorite pizza shop, Slice of Heaven. At the end of a brief quiz, users will get matched to a pop culture mom and a specific pizza. Uh, then they'll get a link to the recipe and have the option of picking up the ingredients, you know, the dough sauce, toppings directly from the restaurant instead. You could build something similar without the quiz and directly provide folks recipes and ordering. Uh, the idea here is to boost engagement and show a little personality. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new custom field, uh, mom quiz score, it's a number type. Look at that, it's very fancy. Then we'll create our flow. Mom quiz pizza match. Okay, in the first message block, we'll introduce people to the experience. So we'll write, are you ready to find out what pop culture mom you are? We'll add an image. Add a button for folks to start the quiz. Okay, and this is important because we'll be counting up a score using that custom field. You actually don't want to make a message block first. You want to have an action that will set our custom field to zero. Otherwise, it has this thing where it'll just keep stacking. So you'll end up with someone with like a score of 80 when they should really go up to like the late 20s, high 20s. So we'll zero out the score like so. Now we'll start. The first question we ask is, where do you want to live? And we're going to use quick replies for the different possible responses. Um, I'm using little emojis to give a little character. So once we have all of these responses in place, we are going to link each choice with a number score. Uh, for instance, choice one will increase the mom quiz score by one, question two by two, question three, or sorry, response three by three, response four by four. And that's how you move forward. So the next question, once again, each response is tied to an increase in a certain number. And at the very end of this flow, um, we actually link to a second flow where we do the math. And it's a bunch of conditional logic where you um, basically see if there's scores between, you know, seven and 14, then there are this mom, if they're 15 to 21, they're this mom, and so on. So what you're seeing me do here is uh, set the custom fields based off of the response. So suburbs is going to increase mom quiz score by two, and so on down the line. Country is by three. Um, I realized as I was making this that as I basically in duplicating the same structure each time, I'm always going to have, at least for my purpose here, uh, four responses to each question that I can actually um, duplicate the whole set. So I can duplicate the question and the four responses, or sorry, the four actions, and just basically paste them down the line and connect them all together. And I actually make a mistake here. So each action has to tie in to the next uh, message block. And you'll see here, I forgot to connect actions one, two, and three to send message number two. So here I am putting in the second set of responses. Um, at this point, 
I'm gonna start speeding through because really you don't need to see me build out seven questions with the structures the same. You know, one question, four responses, each response increases the score. So we'll speed the, through things here until we get to the very end. We end up with seven questions for our use case. And you could be as sophisticated here as you want, but I wanted to keep things simple um, because, you know, why needlessly overcomplicate this? You can see I'm going through the trouble of labeling my question blocks. I just wanted to make it a little bit easier for me if I have to come back in here. Um, do to do, and you know, normally you'd probably want to have some gifs on these questions or some kind of imagery just to keep things spicy. So at the end, you'll see that we've kind of created a monster. Um, and depending on how sophisticated your quiz is, um, this thing could be huge. But at the end, I'm gonna have the last question key in a flow, which we will create. So this will be the mom quiz tabulate. Hop in here, we'll have the bot say, hey, we're, um, you know, let's do a little math -a and see what pop culture mom you are. Add a little pause, as if the bot actually needs some time to think. Have it click over here. And this is where things get kind of fun. So we're using conditions and we're looking at that custom field we set up originally, the mom quiz score. And um, basically saying if it's greater than or equal to this value, but um, equal to or lesser than this second number, then it's this mom or this result. And you can have all of the conditions um, down the line, you'll see. Um, I'll build the first one out first. I'll build the first one out here. Um, this is mom option number one, and it is none other than Peggy Bundy. This is also all like 90s pop culture moms. So that definitely dates me. So I'll go through and I'll build all the possible moms um, as if nots, you'll see. So basically it'll, it'll go, is a score between seven and 14? If not, check the next range. If not, check the next range. If not, check the next range. If the user somehow doesn't match any of these conditions, you can um, insert an error prompt, um, or you can have it loop back to the beginning of your quiz. So you'll see here, yep, this is model number two, looking pretty good. And I'm gonna speed things up because once again, you don't need to see me building four things out here at once. It's kind of a drag.
so that was a lot of fun, but we want to tie this to um, business outcomes, right? So I'm going to connect each mom to a pizza. And because this is a pizza restaurant, we're going to give customers or potential customers the option to download the recipe or call to order the ingredients um, for pickup so they can grab the ingredients, go home and, and make it themselves. I suppose you could tie this into an actual ordering system, probably generate some kind of cool email or automated message for the restaurant staff. But um, I think that goes beyond what we want to do for this tutorial. So I have it set to download a recipe from a link and call is the pickup ingredients option. But you could have fun here. Do live chat, really whatever works for you. Collect SMS or email addresses. So I'll build out the other moms and we'll be on our way. So there you have it. This is our results flow. You can see the pop culture moms and their copy. You can see the associated pizza and how they connect theoretically to an actual business. Well, gosh, that was fun. You kids take these ideas and use them outside. I, I, I mean, it's character building. I mean, you're all set to increase customer engagement and get the most out of your mini chat account. Now, let's see what kind of mom I am. <laughs> Would you look at that? I'm my mom.